Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another repair video on the channel. It's been like three weeks since last repair video and we took a little turn to the Apple Watch side, particularly in the software side. But today we're back to hardware repair and we have an iPhone 6 with touch ID problem. Obviously, as you can see, and the flakes cable is just loose, waiting for the fingerprint sensor. And of course, I know that the iPhone 6 is old and you can buy it on eBay for like 17 or 80 bucks, depends on the condition. Plus, you can just change the Touch ID, but of course you will lose the Touch ID function. But the owner of this phone desperately wants the Touch ID function back because he has a lot of bank apps that he used by Touch ID because he don't remember the password. And of course, we already told him that you can just reset the password of the apps, but he wants the Touch ID function back and we can't say no for that. And we are going to fix the flex cable today on this video and I'm going to show you step by step and all the tools that I'm using to repair this Touch ID. So, let's go. Now, obviously, you have to open the Touch ID. Now, the trick on the iPhone 6 and 6S is a little soldering point, uh, as you can see over there. Just a little low temperature solder on the point and gently remove the socket by a very tiny tweezer. Don't put too much power because you will lose your tweezers. And of course, uh, so you, use it, you have to use it very carefully. Uh, now, likely the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6S has only one layer flex. So we are going to uh, scratch the first layer, which is the only layer. And we are going to make a jumper on every line just to make sure that nothing will happen in the future because I saw a lot of Chinese services uh, just scratching the other side of the flex so they can just solder it uh, to the uh, to the Touch ID and uh, of course uh, you can do that but it is better and more successful way to repair it as I'm going to show you and especially if you are doing this for the first time so let's catch the layer to see the lines that we have to save. Now, we are going to take the same flex uh, cable because it's not damaged and we are going to also scratch the layer and then we are going to glue it to the Touch ID itself so we can begin our work. And also I would like to mention, by the way, it's going to be a little long video because I'm going to show you all the steps step by step and also I'm going to upload the same fix for the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 Touch ID, but it's going to be a little harder because of the layers. But anyway, stay tuned. and. Let's go.
Okay, now I'm using this soldering head. It's not that tiny or thin, but it will do the work. And once I got even thinner one, but it broke. So I'm going to use this one instead. And for jumpers, uh, if you don't have the 001 millimeters or 005 millimeters, you can use the coil that uh, is in the upper speaker on, from any iPhone. I'm using uh, the upper speaker from an iPhone 5. Let me show you how you can remove the shield to use the coil. And here we go. As you can see, this is the coil that inside the upper speaker. Now we are going to remove it to show you how thin is the jumpers are. And as you can see, I can give them like 001 to 002 millimeters, so it's very thin for our jump. Now we are going to um, begin our work and fix this touch ID. Let's go.
Okay, now that our work is done, as always, we are going to check our work and test everything and touch ID functionality also. And let me just connect the touch ID to the upper flex on the screen. And as you can see, the touch ID is a bit loose because I didn't solder the bracket or the solder, uh, the bracket, I don't know what it calls, to the other side of the touch ID. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, there is a point of solder. You have to uh, remove the solder to open the touch ID with no problems. And now we are going to wait for the phone to boot up. Okay, the phone booted up and as you can see we are going to test the touch ID functionality with the up and down just uh, gently pressing on the same on the touch ID itself and I guess everything is working with no problems let me just go here sorry again here we go touch ID let me just put the password and we are going to test the Touch ID right now. And as you can see, the phone has been successfully scanned my finger with no problems. And now we are going to test the home button functionality and as you can see, everything looks okay. So. I guess that's it for this video, thanks for watching, if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and as always stay safe and have a good day.